guys, so I decided to get up early and hit this uh, dirt road. Um, anyway, I've been uh, looking at uh, North Carolina, at least in North Carolina, we got like this uh, map that shows all the dirt, public dirt roads in the state. And the entire state is like filled up with them, like everywhere. And this is great because near me, there are a ton of dirt roads. And trying to figure out, you know, where I can ride and not get in trouble because there's a lot of private property. I don't want to get on that and have to deal with any any bull crap. So, um, yeah, I decided to uh, check this one out today. This one's in the uh, Green Swamp, southeast of North Carolina. It's called Egypt Road. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, you know, look at this stuff right here. It's uh, pretty easy, but I'm, I'm going to take it slow right now because, you know, this is all new to me. Uh, and don't want to necessarily, uh, you know, crash my bike out here in the middle of nowhere. I think there's a car up ahead. Yep, there's a car up ahead. But, uh, you know, I crash out here, who the hell's going to find me? You know? So, um question for you guys you know I've explored a couple of dirt roads the past few days the past week what should I do I'm, I'm carrying like a uh, radio like an emergency radio on me I'm thinking about getting a flare gun and I got my cell phone and got my lighter I don't know if any, if any of y'all remember me saying you know if it really got serious and I crashed my, one of my bikes, I was going to start a damn forest fire. That'll make somebody come out there. But uh, here again, that's last resort. <laughs> Let me get around this guy. I don't know what's going on, man. Somebody be out here smoking crack or something. Ain't no damn telling. But yeah, I'm just keep it moving. Yeah, that dude looked a little tweaked out in there. But uh, either way, you know, some of these roads don't nobody go down. You see oh, some houses out here. You see a mailbox. Yeah. But this one, yeah, this is pretty easy, but you know, I'm just taking it slow. I gotta learn how to do this. I'm still learning how to stand up on a damn bike. You know, um, I've, my experience has been, you know, streets pretty much. So I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm learning, but you know, I'm, I'm watching YouTube videos, these, these uh, Australian outback, um, adventure riders man they're dry, they're riding those giant ass and adventure bikes and also dual sports and stuff they're like going over some pretty gnarly stuff and uh i don't know I, I know this bike is capable of it because i'm watching them do it and i just got to do it too but you know here it is the first ride of the morning for me so i'm gonna probably gain some confidence you know next little bit you know usually your your fastest learning curve comes in the first you know part of doing something so I, and and hey I can say I've improved a good bit from that first ride I took um, out in the swamp uh, near me I've gotten better but yeah this is this is this is easy man I watch people on YouTube flying down roads like this I just don't have the confidence as of right now but I'm working on it and that's what it is. You just keep plugging away, plugging away, and eventually you get better at stuff. But wow, man, look at these trees out here, man. It's just, it's beautiful, man. I, I, I really love where I'm from in terms of like the nature part of it and no, all. It's really cool. And that was part of, you know, we got this short life we're gonna live. If you're lucky, you see 80. You know, most people don't. You know, so. Hell, I've done lived half of it. I'm gonna make sure I've done all the things in the, the second half of it that I, I haven't done. So that was uh, a big part of it. And I was like, all right, dirt bikes and dual sporting and some really cool, you know, put some bags on your uh, adventure or dual sport and go after it, man. Just take it all the whole weekend or if you get a couple of days off work just go on a damn true adventure but um yeah i'm gonna you know the fz07 was a beautiful bike man i loved it I absolutely loved it and by the way it does perform a good bit better than this on the on the streets just being real about it but you know i got ninja 
I took a venture on that. Cool. I can. I don't think I would take the FZ07 on a 400 mile trip, 500 mile trip. Not to say you can't do it. That seat would break your ass though. But um, you know, I got a seat pad for that. But I wanted to do something totally different. But you know, I keep thinking about man, what if something goes wrong out here, me by myself? Because I usually don't got too many people to ride with. And uh, that damn crash my bike out here and fucking get eaten by a black bear or something in the middle of the night. Ain't no telling. But I'm a, I'm like I said, I got this, I got this little radio because you know self service doesn't go. It ends in certain spots. Like I usually listen to Pandora Plus while I'm riding. And, uh, yeah, the music done cut off on here, so we just got camera running right now. But, uh, yeah, maybe a flare gun. Uh, order panniards for this. There's a lot of stuff coming in the mail, guys. And there's been a lot of stuff I've bought for the bikes since I uh, took my little hiatus from uh, the YouTubes. So I got a ton of review stuff I'm probably going to get into the next month or so. I'm going to try to crank out, I'm going to try to crank out like three videos a week. That's, that's a goal for me. I think that's a realistic goal. There's been times I've done a video a day. There's been times I would do like two or three a week. You know, I'm thinking, you know, let me take that back. Maybe, maybe two to three videos a week. That's what I'm, that's what I'm shooting for. And, you know, usually I, I, I shoot it the same day and I post it up the same day, but I might stockpile some vid videos over the weekends and uh, release them later in the week. But look at this stuff, man. Look at this. This is fun, dude. I'm just, uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm going to get better at this. Um, I don't know what else has been going on. A little quick up, update with the Ninja. I got to get some, uh, nothing wrong with the bike. It just needs maintenance. It needs the maintenance in the tune of about 700 bucks. So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that done. It's just, do I do it all at once? Or do I do a couple things? Got a new set of tires for it and all. And a uh, new air filter. Got, like I said, I got a lot of stuff in the mail. We're actually sitting on my kitchen table right now. And I got a ton of stuff coming in for this bike, mainly protective equipment. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe that's just me as, as a street rider. You, you think drop a bike, you know, super expensive if you drop a bike, right? And I, I guess I have that same mentality going into this, just a little paranoid about dropping this damn thing. Uh, brought her, bought her brand new straight cash, so she is mine and mine to take care of. So I'm trying not to screw, th screw things up. So most of these uh, public roads I've, I've found are pretty straight forward. I actually went on one and, and tried to shoot a video yesterday and it, the phone overheated so I couldn't, uh, it didn't take. But um, there's definitely some more gnarly stuff than this. And then there's some like, I guess, roads like straight up in the woods or in the swamp that I, I know where they're at and I've I would ride it as a kid on uh, go-karts and four-wheelers and stuff near near where I grew up so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more of that um, looking forward to all this luck to the luggage that I got for this thing we're gonna do something special one day we're gonna go we're gonna go damn motorcycle camping I'm not a big fan of camping but uh Maybe it's because I didn't, you know, I didn't really have the proper gear when I was younger. I got to be really careful about my back, man. If I'm going to sleep outside, it's got to be, I got to have a good surface to sleep on or I'm, I'm pretty much not going to be able to walk the next day, which would really suck having to pack all that stuff up and try to haul that shit back home. So I don't know, man. Tell me what I'm doing wrong here, guys. If I... If you guys that are good in the dirt, tell me, leave me some comments below. I know I'm driving, I'm riding like an old lady right now, but um, I don't know. I just, I don't have the confidence to go fast. I mean, I ain't getting, I haven't gotten out of second gear in the dirt as of yet. But, oh, look here, stop sign. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, 
and stay tuned to the next episode. I'm hoping to bring a whole lot more cool stuff to this channel, so I'm excited. Catch you guys later.